Hi, this is Lori Thomas, the marketing therapist with webmarketingtherapy.com, and I am in partnership with Scheinfeld Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, big believers of dreaming, planning, and profiting. And we are educating small business owners and marketing professionals on no bull website building. How do we make websites that are going to serve and support and sell our customers? Web marketing is an art, but it's also a science. There's technical things we can do, but it's really the art and sometimes the heart of our marketing that allows us to do this in a successful way. So because we're busy business people, we're going to get right down to it. So we've got our little bull here. He's going to be guiding us throughout our journey as we look at ways to make sure that there's a sustainable websites, but no bull, no fluff. That's really, really, really important. And one of the first webinars we covered in this series, we covered the how to build a healthy web marketing foundation. And these pieces are imperative to success as we build noble, successful websites. You want to have good design as we're looking at how to build a website on a noble basis. I'm going to, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm like the Dr. Phil of marketing, right? So how well our design looks on our web pages, that's going to impact our credibility. People know us, like us, and trust us, and especially if they've never heard of our organizations or us as business people or they're shopping around to, before they make a decision, if they're going to hit a web page and it looks professional, when I say good design, it doesn't have to be expensive. It just has to be professional and well thought out and appropriate for your target market, then that design will help boost your credibility. The second piece of building a, a noble website is making sure it's user friendly. Just because you know how to use a website doesn't mean your end users will. If it's really important to share your press releases, but someone has to click your about page and then the media page and then go to the press releases, that person may never, ever, ever stumble upon that site. So you want to make darn sure your website is user friendly so that when people get there, they not only get to the site, but they get through the website. And the next piece of the puzzle is visibility. How well a site comes up in the search engines has a lot to do with how visible it is, and that has to do with the code of a website. That also has to do with the names and the URLs. Let's say the website is, we'll use lorithomas.com, for example. And let's say I have a speaking page. It could be lorithomas.com slash speaking when you're on the speaking page, or it could be lorithomas.com slash web dash marketing dash speaker. The phrase web marketing speaker is more accurate to describe what I do, and that phrase is something that a prospective conference manager might be Google searching. So building in search visibility tactics into our web pages is a noble way to make sure that that investment not only works to look pretty, but also helps attract the search engines. Even down to the headlines we use on our page. It could be about us as the first words on your page, or it could say about our Santa Barbara dog grooming company. Santa Barbara dog grooming is very valuable as a phrase that someone might search on. So as you're building this, this web presence, you want to make sure it's designed well, it's user friendly, and the geek speak for that is called website architecture. And in this day and age, the most valuable real estate that is not going under is your web real estate and how that square space is used to house your email signups, your navigation, the pages, your press releases, your buy nows, all of that needs to be in a blueprint form before it actually goes into production. Here's a helpful hint. If you're working with a web designer, it doesn't plan with you what pages you want or doesn't like blueprint it out and it's actually called a wireframe. If that wireframe isn't something a web person does, they may not be super savvy marketers and you'll have to make sure to coach them through that process. And also, as we're building these noble make sites that are fashionable and functional, they've got to sell. And the better we communicate visually and with our text, our messaging on our website, the value of what we do, who we are, what we do, who we serve, the value of what we do, 
that is going to help sell us. And the sellability does come and ties in directly to how well our website builds trust, how easy it is to use, how search visible it is as well. This is a great Santa Barbara business, the Santa Barbara Water Taxi. They do amazingly beautiful sunset cruises. They also have kids' parties. You can do private charters for special events. They have the Chez Toot, which is a very just beautiful sunset dining experience where you can do private charters. And this website looks fantastic. It's got nice pictures of the business. It's very clear what they do. The phone number is there. Here's a sneak peek into the unsexy behind the scenes part of what it took to figure out what pages needed to exist. This is website planning. And what you saw, and I'll click back to that, was just the one home page. That was just one page of it as the website was built out, trying to figure out where's what pages need to exist. The about page, the story of the Santa Barbara Water Taxi is phenomenal, incredibly interesting. That needs to be shared different services, there's different cruises, there's sunset cruises, daytime cruises, private charters, calendar of event, harbor happenings, which is just what's going on at the Santa Barbara Harbor, how to find us, contact us, all of those things. And, and actually even in the footer, different testimonials, the privacy policy, which is a must have for every website, that stuff is getting architected before the designer even touches it. And the beauty of this process is that a designer, first and foremost, is able to understand what pieces of the puzzle exist, but also Santa Barbara Water Taxi was able to have input before it went into production, which saved not only the business owner time and money, but also the designer um, a lot of um, confusion and stuff. So that's, that's what happens behind the scenes when professional web firms are architecting these foundations. Here's the no-bull web marketing best practices checkup list for your website. First and foremost, and I'm going to give examples of all of these, is you want to make sure that your home page is a, is a North Star. A North Star helps remind people that they're safely where they're supposed to be, but also guides them to where they want to go, that little light. And when we design our web pages, we want to guide people and help them take action. Having things like learn more, buy now, all that stuff, is, those are called call to actions that help guide people to taking action. People need to be told what to do on a website. Also having a no bull about page. If it's a boring company X is a company that does X, Y, Z, blah, 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 boring. There's a phrase called story selling. And in order to have people be interested in you, you have to be interesting. And sure, a financial advisory firm may not have super sexy copy aside from the Santa Barbara water taxi with incredibly interesting um, story behind where the book came from and all that. But no matter what, people want to know who's behind a business. And they want to know people who are behind the company, too. Making it easy for people to contact you, it sounds really obvious, and oftentimes it's very difficult for people to find phone numbers. True statistic, 80% of people still pick up a phone first before they buy things online. So having an easy to find contact form or contact number or giving your, your website visitors choices, having web statistics to continually monitor and optimize, that needs to be built into the website. Having a testimonials page and having testimonials peppered throughout a website are a great way to, to increase your sellability and help people learn more about other people who liked working with you and build your trust. And having a press page is something that's important as well. And funneling these people through your website with clear call to actions, download, learn more, sign up for e-newsletter, all of us are going to have a different different action or several actions, but those need to be built in as well. And respecting your website visitors' privacy with a clear privacy policy. This is a California legal requirement that a lot of small businesses don't realize they have to do. And it's not super exciting, but it is something that needs to be addressed within every organization, whether you're selling things on your website or not. And I'll explain more on that and how to make your site super search engine friendly. That's a great way to attract free traffic. Search engine optimization, or the acronym SEO, represents the free stuff, not stuff you pay for. And then you want to connect with content. 
our biggest asset is often what's in our brains when we can put that into content that works for us over and over and over again. Santa Barbara business, go to my PC, Citrix is, has offices in Santa Barbara, they're an international company, has a really simple homepage. And I like to show this because this is a gargantuan company as far as success in their technology. Actually, we're on, um, I was able to record this with their technology uh, through GoToWebinar. But their website's simple. This is not fancy schmancy design. But you've got a happy, smiling person, which is also statistically proven to help build success. It makes you feel happy when you're on the web page because you're looking at a happy person. And you get here, and if I'm a customer, I can go to the email and password and log in. If I want to know how it works, I can click the How It Works page. Isn't it amazing how clear that, that little navigation says and helps guide me to where I want to go? If I want to try it for free, the F word, free, is a very valuable word in web marketing and often gets people to take action. Or if I just want to commit and buy now, it's a one page but it's able to guide people in a lot of ways. And I do like the touch of the logos from their accolades, their, from their media coverage. That also helps build credibility. So for a very small piece of real estate, they've done a really good job having their tagline, access your PC from anywhere, their press releases for you, for your company, to guide an individual or a company the try it free people, the buy now, and the existing customers. All of this was architected and methodically thought out before this thing ever went into production. Even down to the top, top right corner that says send a friend a free trial. These things are very important. Go to my PC, did a great job. This is a fun no bowl about page. Actually, it's like a whole mini site within the site. Jambase is a business that's San Francisco based and they're all about live music. And there's a lot of personality behind the About page. You get to see who the staff is. You get to read their bios. You see pictures of them. Every organization is going to have a different About page. But people do want to see who, who is behind organizations, whether they're for-profit or non-profit. Our stories and our personalities have incredible marketing power. So I like this example because it, it's a, it's a simple copy as far as our core staff, how they work tirely to harness the enthusiasm and willingness of the thousands of fans. It's warm, it's honest, it's authentic, and very well done. If your about page is blah, go and fix it. That's my noble advice to you.